Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of the People's Office, your monthly District F recap from the office of Council Member Tiffany D. Thomas. It's been an exciting first month. Here are some of the highlights. On January 2nd, Council Member Thomas was sworn into office at the Wortham Theater downtown. Shortly after the ceremony, Mayor Sylvester Turner, along with every council member, convened for the inaugural council meeting inside City Hall Chambers. Council Member Tiffany D. Thomas. Congratulations, Mayor. I look forward to working with you and everyone around the horseshoe. I am excited to represent the residents of District F. Um, On April 5th, I declared that we would do a new thing, and we did that in December. Um, So I look forward for the next four years with you, specifically my father who stands behind me, who's been in District F since 1995. He's my campaign treasurer. Uh, And then also four specific people who represent the area. I don't know if they're in from the shuttles yet, but Barbara Quattro, who is the chair of the Ailey Super Neighborhood, Um, Barbara Jean Kelly, who's uh, the vice chair of the Midwest Super Neighborhood, Carolyn Boozer, who's with the Piney Point Civic Club, and Bradley Pepper, who's a a resident of Bride Meadow. They're joining me today. So I want to thank you and for the other faces in District F, the residents who support it. I appreciate you for coming. Thank you. Congratulations to you. On January 7th, Councilmember Thomas attended the monthly Super Neighborhood 17 meeting. Super Neighborhood 17 covers Eldridge and West Oaks area, which includes District F and G. It was her first community meeting since being inaugurated, and it was a pleasure to speak with the residents in attendance. She would like to thank Super Neighborhood President Jeff Baker for the invitation, and she also provided an update on the Chelford City Capital Improvement Project per his request. Residents had reported a foul sewer odor emanating from the project site along West Park Drive. Our office then contacted Public Works, and an action plan was put into place to stem the smell of sewage at the project site. Next, Councilmember Thomas attended the Bel Air West HOA meeting on January 9th. Bel Air West is a vibrant community in the Ailey Super neighborhood, and she was very appreciative of the invitation to attend from HOA President Larry Greer. The council member encourages residents to submit CDSF requests. CDSF stands for Council Service District Fund, which is funding that our office utilizes for community projects that are smaller in scope than CIP projects. Requests such as sidewalk repairs, street striping, speed cushions would fall into this category. On January 14th, council member Thomas attended the Complete Communities A. Lee Westwood Neighborhood Support Team meeting. Complete Communities is Mayor Sylvester Turner's initiative where neighborhoods in Houston are designated for revitalization. Stakeholder turnout was very high and we were able to obtain valuable input regarding the future direction of the initiative for the A-Leaf and Westwood communities. The next public meeting will be held on March 11th and we will assist the planning department and the Office of Complete Communities in announcing the details. For this new term at City Hall, Councilmember Thomas was appointed by Mayor Sylvester Turner as the Chair of Housing and Community Affairs. The committee is tasked with reviewing housing tax credits, fair housing, homeless initiatives, and veterans affairs. On January 24th, ahead of the special called meeting regarding the 9% housing tax credits, Councilmember Thomas, along with Vice Chair Councilmember Robinson, were briefed by the Department of Housing and Community Development. On January 25th, the Chinese Community Center invited Councilmember Thomas to attend their Lunar New Year celebration. It was a pleasure and honor to join in the festivities. City Councilmember Tiffany Thomas, District M from this area. The Asian community is a vibrant and integral part of District F and will continue to be instrumental in the prosperity of District F going forward. Thank you and happy year of the rat. On January 26, the A-Leaf Neighborhood Center, District F's $60 million CIP project officially received council approval for construction to begin. The existing A-Leaf Community Center will begin demolition on March 6, and our office is currently working with the General Services Department on a ceremony in the process for residents to obtain bricks from the outgoing building. Construction of the new center begins this fall. On January 30th, Mayor Turner invited Councilmember Thomas to attend the press conference for his yearly initiative, Hire Houston Youth. Through public-private partnerships, this year's goal has been expanded to 15,000 jobs. 
This is a great opportunity for youth in our district ages 18 to 24. The application process begins February 10th. As we now move on to February, we will be celebrating Black History Month. Stay tuned for February's recap. This episode is brought to you by the Office of District F. Follow us on Facebook at Tiffany for A-Leaf and subscribe to our mailing list for monthly updates.